Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Metin Language, and we're going to tackle how to solve factorial. So, ano ba yung factorial? So, mapapasin mo sa first example natin, ito yung exclamation point sa tabi ng number. Okay? So, we have 3 factorial. So, ano ba yung factorial na yan? Paano natin solve yan? So, it will be like this one. 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1. Hanggang 1 lang. Hindi ka magta times ng 0. Okay? So, pag sinimplify mo siya, the answer will be 6. Kasi 3 times 2 is 6, and times 1 mo, that will be 6. So, 3 factorial is equal to 6. Alright, so next example tayo. Example number 2. Paano naman pag 5 factorial? So, that will be 5 times 4 times 3 times mo ng 2 times mo ng 1. And pag inasimplify mo siya, the answer will be 120. Yan lang kadali mag-solve ng factorial. Paano naman pag 0 factorial? Okay, automatic ang sagot dyan is 1. So, pag nakita mo yung 0 factorial, it's automatic 1. So, let's go to operations. So, 5 factorial plus 1 ng 4 factorial. So, ganito lang gawin natin. I-solve mo muna yung 5 factorial, simplify mo muna, tapos, simplify mo yung 4 factorial, at doon mo sila i-add parehas. So, 5 factorial is just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, at ang 4 factorial natin is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. If we're going to simplify it further, that will be 120 po plus mo ng 24. And the answer will be 144. Let's move on to the subtraction. So we have 4 factorial, ma minus mo ng 2 factorial. So 4 factorial natin, that will be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. At ang 2 factorial, this, that will be 2 times 1 lang. So simplify it, that will be 4 times 3 is 12 times 1 and 2, that will be 24. Ngayon, ang 2 times 1, it's 2. So 24 minus mo ng 2, that will be 22. Alright, so paano naman pag-multiplication? So pag-multiplication, pagtatabihin mo lang naman sila. So 4 factorial type times mo sa 3 factorial. So simplify it lang. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Simplify it further, that will be 24 times mo ng 6. And the answer will be, for 4 factorial to times mo ng 3 factorial, that will be 144. Okay, so paano naman pag division? We have 6 factorial over 5 factorial. So that will be, lagay mo lang naman yung, simplify mo lang yung 6 factorial sa numerator, that will be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. At yung 5 factorial, that will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. You may get rid naman ng 1, kasi kahit naman i-multiply mo sa 1, yun pa rin yung number, di ba? Mapapansin mo dito, kinancel out ko yung 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, kaysa sagutin mo siya lahat, magiging mahaba yan. So, cancel out mo na yan. So, matitira ay 6. So, 6 times 1 over 1, that will be 6. So, yung 6 factorial, over mo siya ng 5 factorial, ang sagot ay 6. Alright, so last example tayo. O, paano naman pag 12 factorial, over mo ng 10 factorial? So, that will be 12 times 11 times 10 factorial over mo ng 10 factorial. Hindi ko na binuo yung 10 times 9 times 8 hanggang 1 kasi mapapansin mo, maka-cancel out din siya eh. Diba? 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. At yung sa denominator kasi is 10 factorial. They will cancel out each other. So mapapansin mo, matitira na lang ay 12 times 11. So, ang sagot dito sa 12 factorial over mo ng 10 factorial, that will be 132. And that is the end of the video about how to solve factorial. Ang next video natin will be about double factorial. If you'd like to comment or suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.